Hello everyone, welcome to Engineered. In this today's video, we'll be solving a numerical uh, related to the capacity of balancing reservoir. And this particular uh, numerical is from water supply engineering. So the question is, the water demand of a town is 260 m3 per day. So the demand is given as 260 m3 per day, right? And the water demand is to be made from the river flowing under gravity to the reservoir. So if there is a reservoir and here is the river, the demand is made through the river to the uh, that the, the demand is to be made from the river flowing under gravity to the reservoir, right? And let's say here there is the distribution system to the consumers. So here are the consumers. So let's say this part of the system is, uh, system is uh, supply and this part of system is demand, right? Now the water is supplied to the consumers from the reservoir from the reservoir to by continuous system. So uh, to the consumers from the reservoir, it will be continuous system. This will be continuous system, right? Now, calculate the capacity of balancing reservoir for the consumption pattern as shown in the table below. The consumption pattern is given. So this consumption pattern is uh, for the demand part, right? In demand part. So this part is given by consumption percentage. Now, so uh, how can we obtain the uh, supply part? It will be uh, uniformly. So uh, if the nothing is given, then we also assume this as continuous system, right? So this is continuous system. So this particular demand is to be made from the river, right? So we need to uniformly distribute this particular uh, 2160 meter cube per day in uh, per hour. So we will need to calculate 2160 meter cube per hour, right? So let's find out this 2160 meter cube per day. So if we need to calculate uh, for hour, we need to divide 2160 by 24, right? 24 meter cube per hour. It will be, if you calculate this, it will be 90 meter cube per hour. So this for this for the supply system, it will be 90 meter cube per hour. Whereas for the demand system, it will give by the water consumption pattern, right? Now let's go <coughs> to the this table, and the time period is given as in the uh, consumption percentage table. So it will be five, seven, seven, twelve, and so on. And uh, the the how hours are from the five to seven. It will be two hours, and seven to twelve. It will be eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it will be five hours, right? And the consumption pattern is given as in the table. Now for the demand part, you can uh, we have already discussed about this. It will uh, be given by the water consumption percentage. So twenty five percent of total two one six zero, right? Uh, in the day. So twenty five percent of two one six zero will give us demand. 30% of 2160 will give us a demand for the particular time frame, right? So let's calculate the demand. So here is the calculator. So 0 0.25 into 2160, right? Or we can 2160 into 0 0.25, same thing. So it will be 540. Again, uh, 21. Uh, 0 0.30 into 2160, right? It will be 648, right? Now 15 percent, uh, half of the 30 is 15, right? So half of the 648 is uh, 324, right? 324. And for the 20 percent, it will be, it will be what? Uh, let's calculate 0 0.2 into 2160. It will be 432, right? 432. Now half of the 20 is 10, right? So half of the 432 is 216, right? So if we add all of these uh, values, we need to get what? 2160, right? So let's add up all of these things. 2540 plus 648 plus 324 plus 432 plus 216. We will get 2160, right? Now for the supply part, I've already talked about this, right? The supply part, it will be 90 meter cube per hour. So here are eight, for this particular time frame, it will be two hours, right? For uh, so ninety into time, right? So time is two hours. It will be ninety into two one hundred eighty meter cube. For this ninety into five four hundred fifty, and for this also four hundred fifty, and for this it will be one eighty, and for this it will be nine hundred, right? If you again add of all this, it will be two one six zero. Now surplus and deficit. Now, how can we uh, find the surplus and deficit? Just to, we need to just subtract uh, uh, supply from demand. If supply is greater than demand, there will be supply, uh, surplus, and we are we will be writing in this particular table in this column. 
and if demand is greater than supply, we'll be writing in this particular uh, column. So uh, here, let's see, supply is less than demand. So demand is greater, right? 540 and 180. We need to subtract this value and write in the, the column of deficit because demand is greater, right? So 540 minus 180, it will be 360, right? 360 and here nothing. Again, if you see demand is greater in the second row as well, 648 minus 450, it will be 198, again 198 here. Now, if you see in the third part, you can see here, supply is more than demand. So, we need to write in surplus, right? So, 450 minus 324, it will be 126 here, right? And here nothing. And another row, if you see, demand is greater than supply. So, it will be in deficit side, right? Because demand is greater 252. And in the last part, if you see here, supply is greater, right? Supply is greater, we need to write in surplus. So, 900 minus 216, it will be 684 and here nothing, right? Now, how to find the reservoir capacity? So, here is uh, the uh, answer. So, if you see here, if we start from here, 340, right? So, let's uh, assume the surplus deficit is positive and the uh, surplus is negative. Let's assume, assume, right? Assume. Now, if you see here in 360, if you uh, if we start from here, right? If you start from here, 360. If you uh, let's assume you are only writing, uh, you are only writing 360, only taking this value. Is this the maximum deficit value you you will be uh, getting if you come from five five uh, am to this particular five pm, another another five pm? No, right? So because if we add this, there will be another maximum value, right? 360 plus 198, right? Let's add this 360 plus 360 plus 198, right? It will be, uh, let's write, it will be what? It will be 558, right? Another value is 558, right? Now, if we come uh, from 12 to 17, there is a uh, negative value, right? Because uh, we are assuming the surplus as minus, right? And if this is negative value, it will obviously be less than this particular 550, right? Because we need to subtract 550 minus 126, it will be less value, right? Lesser value here, right? If, if I take this lesser value, but if I come here, it will be more than that, right? More than that. Because I am subtracting less value, subtracting, I am subtracting less value, but adding more value. So, I will get more value, right? subtracting less value and adding more value i'll get more value so i can come i can come up to here i can come up to here right so now if i come here it will be zero right it will uh, if i come here it will be zero because it will be sur supply will be equal to uh because supply is equal to demand so if i come here it will be zero now what value should i add is the maximum deficit value is, if I come from deficit to deficit, 360, if I add 198, it will be obviously more than that, right? If I come here, it will be uh, minus 126. And if I come here again, I'll get more, more value, right? So, let's add these values. So, you just have to find the maximum possible uh, combination of values, deficit values. 360 plus 198 uh, minus 126 plus 252, 634, right? So, you can't miss any of the intermediate values. You you, you you can't take these, these and these values. You need to go through, you need to go through this, right? So, consecutive value, you need to take consecutive value. So, what are the cases you should not take these values? If this value was greater than this value, if subtraction is more than addition, then it will obviously... Uh, uh, decrease our value, uh, right? So, we would have not taken this value in that case. But here, subtraction is less than addition, right? So, in this case, we will be taking this uh, particular 126 and as well as 252 to get the maximum deficit values. There can never be uh, maximum deficit 
more than this. This is the maximum possible, maximum possible deficit value. Right? So our answer will be capacity of the balancing reservoir will be 684, right? 684 meter cube. There is another method to do this. And we'll be uh, uh, we'll also see that method, right? So let's see another method. So in this second method, so these values are from the uh, previous table. Uh, this 540, 648, 324, 432, 216 is from the previous table, right? 180, 450. Now what we need to find is cumulative demand. So you need to add just 540, and then uh, let's add up this cumulative demand. Cumulative demand is. So here, 540 plus 640, right? So it will be 1188, 1188, and uh, again, plus uh, 324, right? It will be 1512, and again, again, it will be, it will be plus 432. It will be 1944, 1944, and again, it will be, it will be 1944 plus 216, it will be 2160, right? 2160. Similarly, if you add uh, this for the cumulative supply, it will be uh, 180 plus 180, it will, first one is 180, right? 180, second one is 180 plus 450. 180 plus 450, it will be 630. And another one is 630 plus 450 is uh, 1080, right? And for this, uh, 1260, right? And 2160. Now, for the cumulative surplus, you need to do the same thing. For the surplus, if cumulative demand is here, cumulative, cumulative demand is less than cumulative supply it will be sub, uh, surplus cumulative surplus and cumulative demand is greater than cumulative supply then it will be cumulative deficit cumulative supply right so cumulative surplus is here the, in the first one it will be cumulative deficit right 540 540 540 minus 1 180 it will be 360 and another one 1188 minus 630, it will be 558, again 558 here. And now again, uh, 1512 minus 1080, it will be 432 here. And uh, if you see 1944 minus 1260, it will be 684 here. And uh, again, 2160 and 2160, right? It will be nothing. It will be nothing. There will neither be surplus, cumulative surplus, and neither cumulative deficit, right? Now, how to find the uh, capacity? So, capacity is capacity is a maximum cumulative surplus plus maximum cumulative deficit so this formula is in the if, if the cumulative demand total is equal to cumulative supply if cumulative demand is equal to cumulative supply it will be maximum cumulative surplus plus maximum cumulative deficit if not it will be minus total supply plus total demand so now these values are equal, right? These values are equal, so we are not taking these values. Let's see this. Let's see this. Maximum cumulative surplus is given as there is no maximum cumulative surplus, so zero plus maximum cumulative deficit is the uh, maximum value is 684, right? 684. So our answer will be 684 meter cube. So we have done uh, the numerical from the both the methods. You do uh, the uh, easiest method you like. If you want to uh, do more calculation, this will be the best method. If you uh, want to do with uh, less calculations, 
you can do this right okay thank you for watching